a happy heart appeal and the volunteers are at the heart of it basically without being corny and um, the sense of, of community that there is, the sense of joy, the sense of people actually being delighted to be here and meeting other people who are volunteers from all over the country. Uh, without it, I mean, the, the whole Heart Foundation really would be something totally different and, and meeting the volunteers is always, uh, is always a great privilege and a great job. I'm of an age now where you have to start thinking in terms of making sure that your health is going to be maintained as long as you possibly can. I had a cholesterol scare about uh, three years ago when I went and it was something about eight point whatever it was and uh, so I, I decided I wasn't going to go on tablets, I was going to actually do it myself, knock it down. What I do is that um, I tend to, to go for walks most days. Most days uh, my partner and I will actually take to the streets and pound uh, out there for about 25-35 minutes and, uh, and that kind of makes me feel that I'm doing my little bit and actually taking care of myself. It, like any good thing, taking care of your heart I think takes a little bit of commitment or maybe a bit of commitment that we need to do. I think days like this to actually put it out there into the community to remind people. We need reminding on a regular basis of most things because we're inclined to kind of carry on with our lives and, and forget about it. So, so, so the information is one thing but making the information available I think is a very important thing and having the information have a profile so that if I can come along from the likes of Fair City playing Bob and people then can see Bob in Fair City afterwards and say oh he was on the heart appeal that kind of keeps that alive in a way.